What's up, Gita fam? It's your girl, Mika, and I'm back with another video. Good morning, everybody. Rise and shine. It is a beautiful day in Houston, Texas. This morning is 8.18 a.m. I'm running a little late, but I'll be down time. And the sun, I don't know if y'all can see the sun because it's really bright, but the sun is shining, y'all. It's out, it's shining, it's a beautiful morning. God is good and everything is great. Even got a little cool front this morning. Like I feel a little, a little cool breeze, you feel me? But anyway, you guys, I was, as y'all can see by the title, this is going to be a Tamika Top Topics. Uh, one of my top topics. I, um, um, seen, I, what was it about? I forgot, y'all, that's crazy. I know I, I'm nothing but 40 years old, and I don't understand how my memory can go that quick, but I was thinking about, I had a topic real quick that I wanted to talk about, um, for as with, uh, relationships and stuff, like, you know how after somebody have an infidelity they um end up getting back with the person and then I know it's like about true trust like is there such thing as true trust like can you forgive and let bygones be bygones yeah so I was thinking about how can you trust them again like is there uh, really trust there with forgiveness? Like, I think true trust comes with true forgiveness. Like, I forgive you, so therefore I start all over with you. But let me ask you a quick question, guys. Even if you say, I trust you, okay, I forgive you, I'm gonna start over, right? Do you think that it's best for the person who cheated whether this is the girl or the guy do you think that it's asking too much to ask the person to call you to let you know you know where they're at you know what they're doing just as um i feel like it's a, a, a thing of respect me personally when you're in a relationship it's not just about you anymore you're not single you can't just go places and just do whatever and i and i don't know where you at you feel what i'm saying or what you're doing and then at the time be honest, you guys. With infidelity, that do brings a certain doubt in your mind. So it's like in order to stop the devil from talking to you. Yeah, they cheat, they just they doing that. Well, if somebody calls you and say, "Yeah, babe, I'm at the game. I made it to the game. Whatever, I'm here with the guys." You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be home. Wait, wait, hold on, y'all. There go my son. I say, check your feet. Make sure you ain't stepping there. Mm -hmm. Cause it was a big hunk by uh, back door. A what? A big hunk. By our back door. Oh, you ain't see yeah. it. Oh, I always look down. So, that's my son. Y'all say hey. Hello. So, yeah, we're about to go. Yeah, you do. I told you to do something to yourself. I need my haircut. Okay, so, y'all, before you leave and you get in your cars, pray before you drive and walk away. You drive away because people out here is crazy. So, um, I thought to go back to you watch over my car. Pack. Kept your angels around the bodies. God bless us as we go safe south to our destination. Buying up traffic, demons, speed, demons, crash, demons, crooked cops. Oh God, about about ticket traffic violations in Jesus' name. God, we pray for all the saints and all the children of God nearby, all over the world that's going places here and there. God, to come with your blood and let them rise every time. God, I pray for my leader and uh, his, his his wife and and their family. God, and I ask that you plead the blood over them and keep them protected as they walk and go into a fro in the spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so let's let's ride, y'all. I had a I'm about to sit y'all right here while I drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, I'm saying it's cold. Oh, where my toes? Oh. Hurry up. You know what I'm saying? I can't go far right here. All right, y'all. I'm about to get my, my, uh, my recording stuff together. You know what I'm saying? I'm off with you. I have to get back. I'll walk back. I know. Because mm -hmm. I got to go. All right, y'all. Let's go. All right. Oh, hope everybody's doing good. So, let me ask you something, Tracy. She's in a call. Oh, crap. Can you hold the camera for me? Uh, let me ask you a quick question. If somebody, <laughs> bless me, if somebody cheat in a relationship, right? If somebody cheat in a relationship, do you think if, if they decide to forgive them and take them back, 
right? Whether it's the boy or the girl that cheated. Oh. Do you think it's actually too much for them to tell to, to say, hey, when you go places, could you call me? Let me know where you at, baby. You know, on both on both ends. Maybe like not you. No, I'm saying if they take them back after somebody cheated, whether it's the guy that cheated or the girl that cheated, and they decided to stay together, do you think it's too much for them to the, each for the individual to say, well, baby, when you get there, could you call me? Let me know you made it. Da da da. No. Okay. I feel like um, after infidelity, if you're trying to really just get that trust back, that you should want to call and let your girl or your guy know where you at and what you're doing so the devil won't be able to talk to them and say, oh, they cheat, they got to die because the time is not being counted for. You know what I mean? So he went and went and got, he went and stopped in the store, y'all. But yeah, I, 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 I don't think that it's actually too much. I think that if you ain't got nothing to hide and you trying to get that trust all the way back and you want it to be the way it was, that it shouldn't be an issue. And um, I, I, I do think that it should be a, um, I don't know, I don't know. I was supposed to say I do think it should be a limit on uh, how many times you should do that for us, like check in and stuff like that. But then again, when you in a marriage or a relationship and you're a couple and you're a committed couple, I think that just come along with it. Like me personally, I've always uh, told my significant other, whether it was a boyfriend or, or, or a husband, um, where I was. Like, hey, I'm supposed to go to my friend's house. I'll be back in a couple of, a couple of hours or whatever. Or, hey, we going here. I'll be back in a couple of hours. I feel like if you just up and disappear and just walk out the door without telling your person that you're supposed to be with it, where you at, that's going to leave that person worried. That's going to be time unaccounted for. And that gives them really... That's a truck that sounds like a motorcycle, y'all. I'm weak. But anyway, that's giving them uh, space and time to think that something else is going on when it's really not. And I feel like you're just starting, trying to start something in your relationship. And that, that makes confusion, you know? I argue for what? I'm 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 40 years old, y'all. I ain't got to a place to where I feel like life should be lived lived happily. And it's no time for the games. You know, like, come on, games? Why? For what? What's the purpose of them? Let's just enjoy life. Let's just enjoy each other and let's just be free and live, you know? Like in the Lord, of course. In the Lord. But um what y'all think about this topic? What y'all think? Do you think it's actually too much, especially when there's infidelity involved? Or do y'all think um, I'm right? Or who agrees with me? So just drop it down in the comments. I love y'all so much. To all my Garlic Warriors, I salute you. May you continue to walk in promise, promise that God has for your life. And to all my families and friends, continue to walk in purpose that God has for your life. In Jesus' name. I love y'all. Bye-bye. See you later.